Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get up and running with Apple's whiteboard app called Freeform. Freeform is a whiteboard app that you can use to brainstorm for projects, create mockups and layouts for newspapers and magazines, and just use to collaborate with other users. You'll notice that um, you can share in Freeform. And if you use Freeform on iPad or iPhone, you'll notice that you can use your stylus and you have a number of different options for how your pen strokes come out inside of Freeform. So you can get very, very creative. I am going to be demoing Freeform here on Mac OS. We don't have all of the stylus options that you would have on iPad, but everything else is almost exactly the same. So here we are in Freeform, and once you have it installed and opened up, you'll notice that you're really just at this screen where you can manage your board. So every board in Freeform is essentially an unlimited canvas that you can use to create designs and brainstorm ideas. So to create a new board, all you're going to do is go over here to the top right and click on the little pen and paper icon to create a board. You'll notice that a blank canvas shows up, and as we expand our work in here, the canvas will expand with us and it's essentially unlimited. So let's take a look at all of the different options that we have here in Freeform. First of all, it's a good idea to give your canvas a title. So we can go up here to the top where it says untitled and we'll just call this test board. Now from here, we have some different options at the top for inserting information and graphics and objects into our board. So the first one is to insert a sticky note. So this is always good for guidelines and tips for people who are going to be using this document. Um, so we could just double click in here. You'll notice that we have formatting options down here at the bottom. So we have bold, italics, underline, alignment. We could actually do lists right here within the sticky note. And then we have our font size. So I'll just go ahead and I'm actually just going to copy and paste um, because I already have a guidelines note written out that I wrote earlier. So we'll just paste it in there. It'll be a little quicker for all of you. And so you'll notice that we now have this sticky note that we could drag around. You'll notice that I can even change the color of the sticky note if you don't like the classic yellow. Um, so that's pretty useful for telling people how to use the particular document that we've maybe shared with them. Now, if we go up here to the top, we'll notice that the next icon is to add a shape or line to this board. And we have a lot of different options. This is similar to what you would see in some of Apple's other tools like Keynote and that sort of thing. So you can, you know, take a look through here at all of the different options that you have. We can just take a basic arrow and we could uh, change the color of the arrow. Let's say we'll make the arrow red and then we could kind of change it a little bit, uh, could change the size of it and the width and uh, just kind of format it to our liking. Uh, so that's, you know, a really nice feature. And notice that as we move objects around here in Freeform, we have these ruler lines that are appearing that help us align things. So uh, as I move this left and right, you'll notice when that yellow line appears, it's telling me that it's now centered with the sticky note below. So as we start to add objects, we can make sure that they're all the same distance apart and everything. And that is a feature of a lot of the Apple apps like Keynote and Pages uh, that is really, really useful and just really helps with design. So you can go into the shapes area there and add all of the different shapes that you'd like and take a look at that. Uh, the next option that we have is to add a text box. So when I click on that, a new text box is added to our canvas. We can double click and you'll notice that we can enter some text. So I can just call this a content idea board. And you'll notice that we have the same formatting options. So we could make this bold. We could increase the font size to say like 48. I could change the font color if I wanted to. And um, we can move it over a little bit. Oops, I only changed. So you notice you can change the color of just one word if you'd like. Um, but I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, so there we go. And notice again, I have the rulers as I move it over. So now it's centered with the arrow. So another great feature of these Apple design products. If we go up here to the top, we could take a look at the next icon, which is adding a photo or movie to the board. And you'll notice that we can do it uh, via photos or videos that we have on the computer. We could add it via link, or we could actually take a photo or scan a document right now. And if we've created a sketch, we could upload that right up here so we don't have to resketch it here in Freeform. I do want to note that if you use the photos or videos option, it's going to look for photos and videos in Apple Photos. So if you don't have your photos and videos in there, it's not going to work. Let's see what happens when I click. You'll notice it says no photos or videos. So what I would want to do, and this is similar to Keynote and Pages, is I want to go up to the Insert menu, and I'm just going to go to Insert. And you'll notice that we have a bunch of different options here. Some of them are the same options that we have in the icons that we're looking at the top middle. Uh, but we have this option to choose. And this essentially allows us to add anything. 
So I have some files on my desktop, so I can just go ahead and add in this cute kitten photo, and you'll notice there it is. So now I can drag and I can move it around the board. Again, we get our rulers aligning everything, so that's great. I could, you know, make it bigger if I wanted to. We can zoom in and see the kitten more closely. Uh, and you'll notice that I can also resize it so that it's the same size as the sticky note. So we can get right in the center of the sticky note and then kind of drag it out so that the top and the bottom all align. And we've got, you know, a nice alignment going on here in our canvas. We can also add files. So you'll notice that this last icon up here at the top it allows us to choose a file to add to this board. So this essentially allows us to do what we just did with the insert menu, uh, but we can actually, instead of just adding an image, we could actually add, say, like a docx file. You'll notice that that file gets added right in here. Again, we could, you know, align it if we'd like. And then if I double click on this, you'll notice that the file opens up so that we could see it. Uh, so, you know, this is how you can add uh, different types of content to your canvas and you can get really creative especially when you're creating content outside of freeform and then using freeform to display it but now i want to talk about collaboration here in freeform so we've talked about these icons up here at the top uh, for most of the tutorial so far if you look over here to the top right we have some other icons now the one all the way to the right just allows us to create a new board but this icon is kind of the universal sharing icon this allows us to share the board so what we can do is we can go ahead and we could share the board by say mail. And we'll just go ahead and we'll send an email and we will share it with webmaster at ansonalex.com. And we'll just go ahead and we'll send that out. Now, webmaster at ansonalex.com will get the email and they can access the board if they'd like. But once we shared it, you'll notice that we got another icon up here at the top and this is kind of a, like our collaboration button. So now that we have other collaborators with this canvas, we could go in and we could send a message to them. We could even do an audio or video chat right here from within Freeform. So this is a great way to collaborate with team members. You'll notice that we can also click on this option that says manage shared board. And from here, we can manage the permissions of people that we've shared the board with. So we can give it general permissions down here at the bottom and decide whether we only want people who are specifically invited to have access or anybody with the link. And with those permissions, do we want them to be able to make changes or only view the document? Now, alternatively, we can go up here and we could go over any particular person that we've shared it with, click on the three little dots to the right, and we could change their permissions here. So notice I could give them just view only permissions and it will go ahead and change their permissions. I could remove access from here. Um, all sorts of things like that. And so this is how you can manage who has access to your files and what they can do once they're inside. Uh, so again, this is a great way to collaborate with say like content idea boards or when you're storyboarding or if you're just you know brainstorming a new project, some business development, if you are creating logos and you're looking at color schemes, that sort of thing. I did mention it briefly, but notice that we have all of these menus up here at the top that are similar to other Apple design apps. So we have the insert menu, which we looked at. Uh, we have the format menu. So this is where you can change font and text up here at the top. Uh, we can arrange things. So um, you'll notice that if I take this kitten image and I drag it, say, like over the sticky note, it overlaps it. Uh, but we can arrange things here so I could actually send this to the back. And you'll notice that it now goes behind the sticky note. Um, so you can do that by right clicking, as I did right here. And you'll notice that there are a number of other options when you right click on an object here in Freeform as well. Uh, so that's definitely something to take a look at. Uh, but then you can also go up here to the Arrange menu as well if you'd like. Over here in the View menu, I do want to show you that you have the option to hide the grid because I think some people uh, don't like having all those little dots behind them. And you'll notice that the, the board looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner once we hide that grid. So you maybe want to use that when you're designing your board, but then you can take that out when it's done and you're presenting it to people. So that pretty much covers it for all of the basics of using Apple's whiteboard app called Freeform. Again, you have a few more options on iPad and iPhone because of the stylus features, but you can share your canvases between your computer and your iPad as well. So don't think that you're limited to one or the other. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.